get started, log into your YouTube account. To get a YouTube account, you must first create a Google account with Gmail or other Google program. Then sign into your YouTube account using your Google account username and password. Next, you want to go to your video manager. You have two options for getting there. Option one, click on my channel in the left side nav toolbars. Then click on video manager in the middle of the page. The second option for getting to video manager is click on your image in the upper right hand corner, then select creator studio, then video manager in the left side nav bar. Once you have the Creator Studio panel up, click on Live Streaming. Now under Live Streaming, you should now see two options, Stream Now and Events. You're holding an event, so click on that option. Now look at the top right of the interface and locate the plus new event symbol. Clicking on that will give you the setup screen. Go ahead and fill in the data fields by giving your lesson a title, adding a description, and also adding tags. Now you need to choose between public, unlisted, or private setting for your video. I recommend not choosing private. Private requires you to provide YouTube a list of user names who are authorized to see the videos. The usernames must be spelled exactly, and all of those usernames must have their own YouTube accounts. For use with students, unlisted is a good option. Unlisted means only those to whom you give the URL will have access to your video. When unlisted, the video is not searchable on YouTube or anywhere else. Of course, public means just that. Keep in mind, you can always disable comments if you're worried about random comments or spam. After choosing either public, private, or unlisted, make sure that the radio button for quick parentheses using Google Hangouts on air close parentheses is checked. Do not click on custom. Now, click on go live now, but don't worry, you will not be going live just yet. Next, you will see a notification screen saying that you are about to access your webcam and will be streaming live. This box gives you the chance to click Cancel and schedule the lesson for a later date. Click OK if you're ready. Now, you may have to click Allow to turn on your webcam. After clicking Allow, you will be on webcam on the Google Hangout screen, but don't worry you aren't live yet. No one can see your screen until you click on Start Broadcast. Next, click on the cog icon to make sure you have the microphone and speakers selected that you wish. Play a test sound to make sure your speakers are on. Next, unless you're in a studio using multiple mics, keep the voice setting. Now, Click Save. Next, make sure your audio is not muted. This means there should not be a red box around the microphone icon at the top of the screen. If you want to mute your webcam, you can do so at this top screen. Now, test your audio by speaking while looking at the bottom right corner of your screen. You should see green dots that indicate you're broadcasting. Now, Make sure your PowerPoint is up and in edit mode. This next step is very, very important. In PowerPoint, go to Slideshow and select Set Up Slideshow. Then select Browse by an individual parentheses window close parentheses. Then click OK in PowerPoint to choose this setting. Now go back to the Google Hangout screen. Click on Start Broadcast. You will have to click OK to give permission to broadcast your camera, if it is turned on. Now, introduce your lesson with or without the webcam. Then, click on Screen Share. 
Select the PowerPoint application from the window of options and click on Share. Now your PowerPoint will be shared and you should click on in the PowerPoint Start Show. Now you're ready to narrate your PowerPoint as usual using the forward and back arrows. When you're finished narrating the PowerPoint, simply click on Stop Screen Sharing. Say goodbye and then click on Stop Broadcasting. When you see a blue screen in the top right that says your broadcast has been saved, you can then exit Hangouts. When you do exit Hangouts, go to your YouTube channel. Your recording will be processed as a regular YouTube video, and when the processing is done, it will be available in your video manager. To share the video, simply click on Play, go to the Share Options, and click on Embed, and you will be given an embed code for your YouTube video.